All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, apologies for the delays. Uh, Belize were playing a game, so we had to wait for the, that game to finish due to uh, Bex getting the buy in the first round. Of course, it meant that some areas were a little bit behind on the bracket, but everything should be all right from this point forward. I presume there will be smooth sailing, uh, sailing between all maps. There we go. The knife run actually will go in favor of excellence again, and that's going to give them the decision now, or rather, uh, yeah, the option to choose which side of this map they want to begin on. I presume they'll probably go for the CT start. It is a map that does tend to be biased towards that defensive side. Let's see what they decide on eventually. And yeah, there we go. They do indeed swap over. So Vex starting on the CT side. Bli is starting on the T side. You can see already Pickles picking up the Fuse kit. Your players yet to completely buy up. Two players picking up Kevlar so far. And I presume Truth will probably go ahead and just do the same. Oh, I think Truth left Spawn without buying. That's probably a bit of a misplay. Probably didn't mean to do that one. The restart probably thrown him off a little bit. But it hopefully won't be too big of a deal. Let's see though over on the T side. Musset is the one to pick up utility. And a very fast play is going to be coming in already. Closing in the distance over towards Ivy. Gale actually finds himself two quick kills. Vanity and Quicks to return them as well. And, ooh, I was going to say. Ozzy on extremely low HP was basically surely to be taken down right there. But somehow spins around and finds a pretty quick headshot. So now it's all on to a one-on-one. -on -one. JL up against Truth. JL, of course, already has himself three kills, so he's looking to try and take it up to the quad. And actually, as he just walks onto the B-bomb site, he should have a pretty easy time of getting this bomb down. Able to plant it for the back lines as well, which gives him the option to go ahead and actually try and push forward on the after plant if he had wanted, but instead going to wrap around towards heaven in another position that he can see that bomb plant from. And truth now, no Kevlar, as I said, hasn't picked up the defuse kit either. So this is going to be quite difficult. JL right now just playing on this lower ramp, waiting to see if he can get the contact. I guess the main problem is the bomb isn't planted for him, but without the defuse kit, not really too much the truth can do. And having made an eyes right here, that kind of gives it away. There you go, JL just closes in the distance with the Glock, finds himself to 4k in total. A 1v2 as well, I believe it was, so a really good start to this for Biz. And then we go ahead and turn off voice. <laughs> Did not realize that was on. But yeah, a good start for the Belize side. Force by, of course, going to be coming in from Vex. They got a Scout, a UMP, an MP9, and two Deagles. You can see it's a fairly safe buy coming in from Belize. They go for a Galil, two AKs, and two Mac-10s. And look at this. Troops is getting extremely aggressive on the for B. Going to be able to find himself one kill. Quix does the same, but the trades do come back. So a 3v3 after the initial uh, exchange in towards B right there. It looks like they do want to try and just commit to the site on the back of this one now. One player already rotating into position, and look at that shot from JL. Gets a quick headshot onto Pickles. One bullet was all that he needed to fire, so Vanity and Ozzy now going to be the last two players left standing. And the bomb finally going to be planted, although Ozzy has actually been able to close in the distance. He's pushed up really close, playing around the train, is going to be able to find himself one, and Vanity on the scout as well, going to be able to finish off JL. And it's all on the Kai. He's been spotted out, gets the first kill, spams away, runs out of ammo over to the Glock now as he continues. And does eventually find himself that kill, so he's there to save that round. But a lot of damage was connected for Vex. They'll be pretty happy with what they were able to do. They took down four players, dropped one Galil, one AK, and two Mac 10s out of the hands of Blias. So good damage, at least, done to the economy. So you can see now into this round, they can, of course, have, uh, they have a bit of an easier time. They're going to go for three SMGs this time, two AKs. And they should have a uh, pretty easy chance to try and build up some bank. Getting the kills with the SMGs and up against four USPs and only one CZ. Unlikely they really lose too many players, especially as they run straight onto the B-bomb site, which at the moment has been completely vacated. And here we go, JL just continuing the rack up economy, doing a really good job at that Mac 10. Quicks actually gets himself a kill and an AK in the process. I don't know if he's going to be able to save. Likely does Mac 10s go hunting for him, so it's going to be a difficult task for him to try and carry over the AK. You can see the RNG is going to try and hunt them down. And they should have plenty of time to try and find them. Gets himself the first at least, but two more players coming in his direction. Just a little bit too much to handle. The AK should as well be retrieved, so yeah, there you go. Must picks that up. Blaze get themselves the 3 0 start. If so, I guess, cleanly enough. Reinvesting into this one now, they're not really going to have too much economy left in the bank. So if they were to lose one round, they may actually be forced down to an eco. You can see Vex, of course, going to have the full buy now coming out. It's not perfect. They have a decent amount of utility. They have the up on the quicks, although it is glass cannon. Let's see how this goes for the T set right now as they are taking it quite slowly two players above pop dog two players focused over towards Ivy and just one player making sure that no one can get aggressive towards A main Ooh, actually through the 
smoke the opening kill has found. Kage able to take down Ozzy. And now it's a 5 on 4. Vexed on the back foot. We may, ha we may see them trying to get aggressive in order to try and actually neutralize this disadvantage that they have. The question is where will they do so or maybe even just take a bit of a gamble to stack towards one of the bomb sites. And you can see that's kind of what they've done. They've, they've put three players over towards A. And even then, the player that was originally towards B, uh, B being Truth, he's just over towards Connector now. So he's rotated back into a much more passive position. He can still spot B, but if needed, he can rotate over and assist his teammates pretty quickly. Let's see, a minute remaining for Blaze to make a decision about where they want to go. And as I said, that actually, JL gets taken down. Peeking out Pop Dog, not completely peeking out. But sadly, Quicks was pushed up close, ready on that angle. That's actually a pretty decent nade. Looks like Blaze might bring this over towards B, I believe. I think the bomb's making its way back up through the hall, so yeah. Oh, actually, no, it's making its way... Let me check exactly. It's pretty difficult to tell on the map. Yeah, it is indeed making its way back through the hall, so it is going to be a B attack, and as I said, Truth had fallen off into a much more passive position. He's all the way in the back lines, meaning it's going to be quite difficult for him to try and get too much done. Maybe a bit of damage. You can see Kaga actually left to go ahead and work out on A. He does find himself one kill before eventually falling. So far, actually, it's gone pretty well for Vex. They do come out on top of the trades. They get themselves into a 3 versus 2. The bomb will now be planted, and yeah, Suvin alongside Muster are going to be left to try and clutch this one out. Make that just Mus. And he comes back down the ramp and should be spotted out. And there you go, Quicks on the up to close this. So, a nice recovery from Ve uh, from Vex. They do bring that round back in their favour. And they do so with three players alive as well, which is pretty important. Not losing everyone means they will still be able to get a pretty solid buy into this next round. Because when you win those rounds with only one player, that usually means that coming into the next one, you're going to have a pretty weak economy. So, a three alive. Rifles should be dropped over. As I said, Blaze's economy, it's not great. I think they probably will just go for the one eco. I was going to say, if they wanted to, they could have bought. You could see uh, Naya Suvin had enough to get himself the rifle and the uh, the Kevlar, as did two other players. And uh, and that would have been just Sender and Tag. That would have been a little bit low on money. You think averaging just about 3,000. So, yeah, they, they play a safe. They go for the pistols and Kevlar. They spend the excess cash that they had available. And they're going to seemingly just go for a pretty quick rush towards this B-bomb site. Sadly, that made them a lot of damages that was thrown in. The Molly as well delays the push. It was a pretty easy task, I was going to say, to try and shut down this push. But only finds one kill before he falls. So really nice trade from Sender. B-bomb site going to be taken over. The bomb plant at least been found. This is a nice little bonus for the T side. But it's still going to be difficult to try and get this round for themselves. As you can see so far, most of the kills going to be going in favor of Vex. Finds them up at the CZ. Almost. You can see how much damage he was actually able to do. Ozzy on 38, Vanity on 6 HP. Bomb has been defused. Counter terrorists win. As I said though, Blaze didn't really invest too much into that round, it was only the excess money that they had available, so with the bomb plant even coming in, they have a very solid buy coming into this round. JL on the up, he's done a really good job uh, job even with the uh, the pistols and the MAC-10, so let's see what he can get done with this weapon now. Let me facing off against Quicks, of course. It looks once again to be just a pretty standard default coming in from the T side, we've seen this approach basically in uh, the previous gun round as well, they put the two players towards the two players towards Pop Dog. And they leave uh, Naya Suvin, I believe that is alone, to make sure that no one can aggress towards A main. Look at this, Kaga actually looking to get extremely aggressive. May even try and push through the smoke as the Molotov goes down. He tries to use the Q where uh, the player isn't going to really have his weapon prepared. But sadly, Ozzy able to pull the AK back out in time does find a pretty quick headshot. And ooh, Naya Suvin, great shot on the pickle. Sadly, Quick still prepared with the op, going to be able to return it immediately. So a 4v3, and a 4 versus 2. Sender and Must now going to be the last two players standing for Belize to try and get something done. And it looks like they're going to go ahead and just try and force their way into this B-bomb site, which if they do so, they may actually have a decent amount of success and at least find the bomb plant. But as I say, that Must going to decide to actually make his way back over towards A and allow his teammate instead to just try and sell a bit of a fake. I don't know if this is the greatest idea. So if he had just went with his teammate, they likely would have at least got the bomb plant. They didn't know that the B-bomb site was... Um, was clear of course but sticking together usually in these situations is probably the better idea and you can see now that the bomb has been lost this round over and done with nothing really that sender can do and he's going to be taken down as well quicks with the off just goes up and uh, takes the fight for himself so three to three he is going to be put back down to the eco if they had got the bomb plant i was going to say maybe they could have scraped the bio but no they wouldn't really have been able to either way so just going to be pistols into this round once again and vexed they should be able to get themselves into the lead
don't need them. Five damage somehow. So you know, very fast B play. Once again, Truth just being left alone. Has assistance from Connector at least. And then they also have plenty of utility, of course, to try and just lock this down. Molotov's available. No utility either for the T side is going to really complicate things. They're finally beginning to push out now, but they should be spotted quite soon. You can see so far they can't take the hard one by one. Eventually, Nice Uvan actually gets himself two quick kills with the dig. Sadly, the nade comes in and finishes him off as he, be, as he had been previously tagged up. So, yeah, Vex, they get themselves that round with three players alive. Not too bad. They build up a bit of economy. You can see they have a decent amount onto most of their players. Truth after reinvesting on $800, and Pickles is going to have to buy up as well. Seem to be going to be dropped an M4, I presume. So, yeah, there you go. The economy for Vex, it is okay. Even if they were to lose one round, they would be able to buy again. But Blizz, they've done a decent job at at least keeping it modest. As they get back onto the buy once again, and interestingly enough, this time JL not going to be the one on the up, it's Naya Subin instead. So let's see how that goes. JL going to be taking down anyway, the man we just previously mentioned. Didn't have the up, had the right glove person. He was trying to just get a uh, he was trying to go for a pretty fast play over towards B. Trying to catch anyone out on lower ramp if he could have, but sadly, it was quick since dead to get aggressive towards over B and find the side of his opponent completely exposed. info obtained as well as they spotted out I believe two players in a man really nice work by Sen they're clearing that angle out perfectly went for the uh, shoulder peak first spotted out the player and then went for the pre-fire so that was a really nice find but look at this this is a bit of a problem right now for Blaze Quicks just coming in from behind sees Ed in hand finds himself two quick kills Ozzy boot one as well in the process, leaves it all on the Kag now, one versus four. Make that one on three, picks up the off as well, and actually gets himself a second on the Pickled. Almost flicks over for the kill on the Quick, sadly not able to connect it, but he will on the second chance. And suddenly this is brought back into a one on one, Truth left all alone to try and save this round for Vexed. Kag looking to try and pull off a massive clutch. And let's see if he's going to be able to find it. The bomb at the moment dropped outside of Pop Dog, he is going to have to go ahead and try and retrieve that one. Smoke going to be going down, being cautious, he doesn't know the position at all of Truth, and Truth able to spot him out. That's a free kill from behind, but a very nice try indeed. Once again, a lot of uh, economical damage being done for Belize. Kag almost able to pull off the one on four. Sadly, doesn't in the end. And without the bomb plant, once again, Belize is going to be just put back down to the eco, even with that full money bonus. But you can see the economy now for Vex not looking great. Four players would have enough to reinvest if they lost the round. Only, I believe, um, I think it's Aussie who's a little bit low. It's Pickles, actually, rather, who's a little bit low. Let's see, Blaze into this round once again, back onto the pistols. They have Kevlar, they have a decent amount of utility. And execute apparently. Something that they do have to go for. We haven't seen that yet on the gun rounds. They bring it out over uh, towards the A bomb site when they only have the pistols available to try and at least find the bomb plant. And they actually are successful in doing so. Find one kill in the process as well, so not too bad, but it was a pretty clean round for Vex, keeping four players alive this time. I'll allow them to start building up a bit more money. Quicks. I presume will be dropped that up back over by Pickles, and even gets himself an M4. So the rest of the players continue to build up, uh, build up their economy. It's only Pickles that's a little bit low at the moment. <clears throat> but here we go once again. Blaze showing that anyone can up on their team. We see in, in the uh, first gun round, JL picked up an up. In the second gun round that they had available, Naya Suvin picked one up, and now it's going to be Kag to take his uh, his turn on that big green gun. Let's see what he's going to be able to find. Quicks once again being very versatile with the op so far, has been positioning himself in different spots every single round. Let's see Ozzy over towards Ivy as he goes for the peak just before the smoke actually blooms, gets taken down. And look at this Moose as well, gonna be able to just push out of A main, finds himself one before eventually falling. But as we can see, the T's have already been able to just swarm this bomb site, and so far the kill's going heavily in their favor. Truth left as the last man standing, coming in from that B bomb site, left in a one on four. That's the first kill, but now with his position known, trying to get out a connector is gonna be a very difficult task. Especially as the Molotov goes down, and there is still also a smoke available, of course. I think at this point, Truth may just want to consider saving. Yeah, you can see that is indeed what he's going to do. Just going to carry over the M4. You can see he has plenty of money in the bank, but as I said, Pickles is a little bit low. He could be dropped over a weapon and up as well. Probably going to have to be dropped over to Quicks. He's not going to have enough to bite it up himself, so yeah. There's already a Vex stream, why don't I cast Singularity? Because um, Vex asked me to cast this for them. Who else is casting this?
Let's see though, Blaze, can they manage to actually chain some rounds together? That's a pretty good start into this one, and ooh, just a very fast A play going to be coming in right now. Sender going to be able to find one as well. Quick kill from JL comes in also. And right now it's actually looking really good for Blaze. This should be another round onto the board, and I think this is the round that will go ahead and actually break the bank for Vexed. Who's going to find one, so that will be up before he traded back out. Uh, the guy from the T stream, uh, from Belize is streaming his POV. Ah, okay, well, um, Vex wanted me to cover this for them, so. I'm not just covering this game, like, I'm covering their entire run through the qualifiers, so. But yeah, as I said, Belize, pretty good uh, work into that round. They're able to go ahead and actually break the economy for Vex, forcing them down to just the pistols and Kevlar. This should be a round where Blaze are able to go ahead and equalize it. He's getting really aggressive, actually finds himself one kill and a lot of damage onto Mus as well. Bringing him down to only 4 HP. Sadly, he was alone on the B-bomb site and as his teammates rotate in, they're just going to get picked off one by one. Hag with the op hitting some nice shots to take down both Quicks and Vanity. Kill from Ozzy. I don't think that weapon's going to be retrievable, sadly. If you can pick up the AK, that would be a nice find, but I don't think it's going to happen. And I think Sender are likely just going to be able to find this kill now. Come on, well, to spot him out, but eventually finds it. 6-6. Six to six, Looking pretty good for Blaze. Six rounds on the T side of uh, Train is already a pretty decent result. And they definitely still have room to work with. They can try and find themselves some more. JL having a pretty good game. As is Kag, especially since he picked up that op. He's been able to find the uh, open and pick two or three rounds now in a row at this point, so really good work. Let's see, though. Back onto the buy now once again. Vex, they lack a bit in terms of the utility, but they have the weaponry to work with. And as you can see, once again, it's just going to be a very fast A play coming in from the T side. Sadly, Pickles is just going to completely pick it apart one by one as he shuts down the push through A main. A choke point not really working out in favor of the, uh, favor of the T side, rather. Kai going to be finished off as well as Pickles. He ups it to a quad kill. A very nice hold indeed, that was what they needed. Especially considering they lacked the utility, they didn't have the Molotovs to slow down that push, their shots needed uh, needed to be connected. That's exactly what happened. So, here we go, 7-6. to six. Vex get themselves back into the lead. Blee is going to be able to buy once again. But if they lose this one, they'll be working with a pretty weak buy into the final round of the half. So, this is a pretty crucial round for both sides. If Vex get this, a good chance to get a 9-6 to six lead. If Blee is get it, they likely would have a good opportunity to actually try and win out this half. Looks like it might be a bit of a faster run over towards B. You can see those smokes being thrown down on A once again. But instead, run up over towards B main. Oh, no, B lobby rather. Right? The B halts. Apparently, I'm uh, really bad at casting train right now. I think this is actually the first train cast I've done in quite a while. They might actually still try and go towards A. One player in Pop Dog, and ooh, did he just get wall banged down? I think he did. I think Quix is in connector spamming away. Not a lot of damage being connected. Send her down to 69, but it's a little bit. It weakens them up slightly for when they do tr uh, try to finally push a bomb site. Here we go. It is still going to be over towards B, as we can see. Three players grouping up, two of them already prepared to push out of upper. Once again, a player being left to lurk towards IV as well. This is something we've already seen from Blaze, so. Let's see how that goes for them. Send they're going to finally go and join up with his teammates. JL going to be actually the one on the off now that opens this one up by taking down Quix. But as the trades do come in, it ends up in a 3-on-3. Three -three. And a lot of damage has been done onto two of the players on the Blaze side right now. JL and Must have been heavily tagged up. One player been able to actually push into the bomb site being Pickles. He's pushed up close and I'm not sure if his position's known currently. Has the, the ability right now for just a quick backstab and actually gets the quick kill onto Sender. Spots out another over towards Connector. Gets himself a second. I know JL is left in a one-on-two to try and clutch out. The Molotov goes down towards upper. He takes the shot. His position is now known. And as he tries to push out of the Molotov and try and force the fight, sadly, he burns alive. So here we have effects. Eight to six. And as I said, Blee is coming into this final round now. They aren't going to have the greatest of buys. Too bad, I guess. It is pretty decent. They have an, an okay amount of utility to work with. They have two AKs, a Galil, a Scout, and a CZ. So it's not terrible. They definitely still have a chance coming into this round. Either way, six rounds on the T side is pretty decent for Blaze, all things considered. Worth noting, they did actually pick up the pistol round. So ideally, they probably would have hoped for a little bit more, but still a respectable scoreline. But let's see. Into this one, Blaze is going to be immediately grouped up into B Hall. The spam coming in from Drew to actually successful in finding the kill. 
and actually <laughs> drops the bomb straight down the ramp. Truth, I believe, has vision on that one now as he even finds the second on the Nisuvian. Uh, Nisuvian. These names are so difficult to pronounce when you're talking fast. But let's see, this round has just completely fallen apart for Blaze. The second that bomb got dropped down the lower ramp, they kind of had to force their, way, uh, force their way onto this B bomb site. And sadly, not really going so well. JL connects a couple of shots and actually gets himself a second kill eventually. Sadly, it's all on the tag now. And he will eventually be finished off by Vanti. It was a little bit awkward, but there you have it. 9-6 to six in favour of Vexed. Pretty good recovery considering they were down 3-0 uh, at one point. Took themselves, I believe it was 6 in a row. Before eventually losing 3 more due to their economy being broken. So both teams probably going to be fairly happy with the scoreline that they were able to achieve. If Blaze take this pistol round, then likely we're going to see a 9-9 to nine scoreline. If it's the other way around Vex, they should be able to begin to run away with this lead. Here we go. I'm also going to be picking up the, the fuse getting a smoke. I see he's adding a smoke for Kag as well. And over on the Vex side, it's Vanity to pick up a smoke and two flashes. And actually, he gets very aggressive out towards A. A smoke goes down towards Ivy, I believe that was. This is a uh, an interesting strat. A bit of team damage coming in from JL. And actually, yeah, that smoke was very useful. It allows them to just run into the back lines. But sadly, as they send a player out of a main and one out of Pop Dog as well, they just get picked off one by one. So it does leave them in a three on five now to try and pull this one back. Make that a two on five. One V5. Zero V5. I'm not casting, I'm just going to count them. That's what happens. Whenever I say how many players are alive, someone else always dies. Every single time. Here we go, Vex, they buy what they can. Nice shot from Quick. So I thought he was actually going to find a second there. It looked like three players were almost lining up for him. Gets one anyway. Really good start into this round for Vex, getting themselves a five on four. And Vanity wants to continue pushing forward. They do definitely want to hit this A bomb site, it seems. Or at least put some presence on it. They have the one player out in behind Olaf, that being Vanity, two players, and Pop Dog. As the flash goes over, they are trying to take more fights. And Vanity with the Deeg is actually successful in doing so. Gets a quick headshot on the Muss. And it's actually the CZ of Pickles as well to go ahead and take down JL over towards the bomb site. So pretty quickly, this round has completely fallen apart for Blaze right now. Kag and Naya Suvian are going to be the last two players left to try and salvage this one. That's not looking too good. Quick with the Deeg going to be able to get himself a second into the round as well. Meaning Naya Suvian was the last man standing. Was being the keyword, of course. go blaze are now going to be the ones with the force buy instead two digs three cz's basically no utility at all to work with you can see right now a very passive round coming in from vexed overall they're trying to pressure one part of the map that being iv and ooh, quick so i was going to say should be able to find that kill does eventually but that was a kill I feel like Nysuvian at that point probably should have been able to take, especially when Quicks didn't check the corner and kind of had his back to him for a moment. But it doesn't work out in his favour. Vex now on with the man advantage. Vanity finds the aggression in A main. It's looking even better. All down to Sender and Kag now. One been found. I was going to say perhaps a weapon to be retrieved, but sadly not the case. Truth, he expects the aggression of Truby as well, so he's there to close that one out. 11-7 to 7 now. And now, it should be a 12th coming in for Vexed. I don't really think anything at all can be upgraded for Blaze. They do get a P250 on the sender. But as you can see, their economy not great. He'll be getting 19, oh, 2400 actually rather into the next round. So it'll be a pretty good buy for Blaze, but they're likely not going to have an up unless they manage to find maybe a couple of kills into this round onto one of the players to buy one up. One kill, I guess, would be enough for uh, Mussy. He'd have enough to buy an up at that point, but we haven't seen him pick one up. We've seen JL Kagan, nice Suvian. There we go. The A bomb site completely open. Vex, they just walk straight onto it, get that bomb planted. And that should be the round over and done with. Still the opportunity, of course, for Blaze to try and get some damage done as they did push aggressively on B. And I was gonna say there's a nice opportunity. Team kill actually comes in. Pickles finds three before being taken down by Ozzy. And eventually Mussy gets one as well with the USP. So three players surviving for Vex. Not too bad of a find. They lose the one for Mass, and also I believe it was one AK. Oh, 
unless he actually does go for the uh, the op. We haven't seen him pick him one up yet, so everyone except for Sender at this point has picked up an op on the Belia side, which is interesting. And look at this, Vex, knowing that the economy of the CT side is extremely weak, they just go for a fast A play straight out onto the A bomb site, similar to what we've seen happening, uh, coming in from Belia on their own B side. Once again, another team kill actually comes in for Vex. I don't think it's going to affect the outcome of the round. That's something that we've seen over there. Uh, we've seen it in the previous as well. It was Ozzy that took down uh, Pickles. This time around, I believe it was Quicks who took down Trout. You can see Kag now is the last man standing. Probably just going to have to try and save and a pause actually. Uh, a pause has actually been called. So Blee is wanting to take a bit of time to discuss what's going wrong right now. Is they are beginning to run out of time. Losing this one should force them back down to the pistols once again, which is likely to allow Vex to have a 14-7 to 7 lead before we see the full buy actually coming back out for Belize, that is. And yeah, as I said, likely going to have to be the Eco coming into this round. They saved over the op, at least, and, uh, for Kag to work with. And he was having a pretty good time with that when he was picking it up on the T side. So perhaps he has a chance to try and get something done. He has a CZ. He can drop over to one of his teammates. And with the full money bonus being built up coming into this next round at $3,400, they can buy pistols and Kevlar onto basically all the players. So they'll have something to work with, but it won't be perfect, of course. And as I said, before they have that full buy coming out, it is likely going to be that 14 to 7 lead in favor of Vex, unless they can somehow manage to pull off this round with a very weak buy. Going to be mostly in the hands of Kag to try and get the work done with the op, of course. Let's have a look at the scoreboard, actually. Everyone kind of contributing over on the Vex side. A little bit more, um, a little bit more top heavy, I guess, for Blaze. You can see JL at 19, followed by 16, 10, 6, and 5. And then it's kind of, it's Pickles and Quicks having the best performance for Vex. Troop as well doing his job, and then Ozzy and Vanti not, uh, not doing bad by any means either. So, yeah, pretty, pretty even performance overall from the Vex side. Nice Suvian going to be able to actually find the opening kill and. And they're able to follow it up as well as Kag on that up. And what has just happened? It's a five versus one right now. Pickles is the last man standing. He's been spotted out and he is about to be taken down. Or at least he should be. You can see his leg must. Okay, there we go. Finally spots it out. And uh, yeah, what just happened? That was um, a full eco basically from Blaze. They had a couple of upgraded pistols. The op only actually finding one kill, I believe it was. And somehow they just got completely destroyed. Okay, a much needed round for Blaze, I suppose. 8 to 13. If they can pick up this one, the economy of Vex, it'll probably allow for one more buy. So it's going to have to be at least a couple of rounds being chained together for Blaze before they're really in control of the economy and the game. And look at this, a triple op setup. This is interesting. Although it does work out fairly well to start it off. I believe they picked up a couple of them. Tag to go ahead and actually take down Pickles to start this one off. So pretty quickly, a man advantage for Blaze, a 5 on 4. Vexed. On the back foot now, looking to try and just creep up through Ivy. And I was going to say Ozzy in a good position, but as the Molotov goes down from his teammate, I guess he wanted to try and push through and see if he could find that kill. But sadly, the op was posted up ready to take him down. Quicks needs to win out this fight if he wants a chance for his teammates to get anything done. Instead, he just decides to go, go ahead and actually just fall back off. Probably going to just go ahead and try and regroup with his teammates now, as it seems like they're going to try and focus towards the B bomb site. Let me try and actually do something towards Pop Dog instead. Problem is, Sender's ready for this one. Double drop. Only one kill to be found. But a nice trade at least coming in. Of course, it would have been a 4 on 2. Still heavily favors the CT side. Ooh, and JL seems to have a bit of a read as well. And where that quick set been able to actually creep out behind Green Trent. He's there to go ahead and close it out on the Vanity as well. So. Really nice round coming in from Blaze. The Ops getting the majority of the work done. Seems like they have very capable oppers uh, opper over on the Blaze side. JL and Kag have both been doing a pretty good job of them so far. We've seen uh, Nysuvian and Mussy pick them up as well. Neither of those players have really been able to get too much done, I suppose, with them. 
let's see. We'll see a nice Uvian going to have them into this round. Interestingly enough, Kag actually dropping his one over. And Vanity once again going to be out towards Olaf. Problem is he has been spotted out. The smoke goes down. He takes some damage in that nade. Maybe enough to finish him off. And it is indeed. A quick kill comes in. Once again, a 5 on 4 in favour of the CT side. And the Ivy push from Vex right now. Looking to try and let him to split into that B-bomb site. Sadly, he is being completely shut down. JL gets a second with the op senders there as well to go ahead and... Take down Troop, even it all onto Ozzy and Oops now, an op to be retrieved and I was going to say potentially a second kill to be found, but sadly it won't be the case. And that means the bomb now has been dropped under the control of the CT side, leaving it all onto Quicks to try and clutch a 1v4. He was the player that actually tried to walk out onto B, gets himself into a decent position, they might not be aware of this. Should have a pretty easy kill on the Kag right here, and actually he's going to go ahead and just walk past, allow for that player to... Continue moving forward for the moment. Gives himself the opportunity to try and find even more, but ooh, he gets flanked out instead. Kag coming back to check the position is able to find the back of his opponent. So there we have it. Blaze get themselves a 10th round. They take double digits and they actually do go ahead and break the economy of the T side. Actually, they don't completely. It was only truth that was a little bit low, so I was, uh, I was telling a lie, ironically. You can see the last few rounds have been... Pretty clean for Blaze, especially since they won that eco round that allowed them to build up a bit of bank. They didn't really have to invest too much because they picked up the weapons. So they built up an okay economy. That's not ideal. JL Knife and his teammate are right in the back. And here we go, Vexed. Going to be just seemingly going for an A execute. One player and Pop Dog to try and shut down the two players who are coming in from this position. Smoke goes down. Mussy is actually the one to open it up. I mean, the spam coming in from Sender spots out the tracers of the AK through the smoke. Now just not looking too good for Vex. The initial push has been shut down. Eventually one trade to be found. I was going to say Mussy extremely low HP, but he still managed to find himself a kill before he eventually falls. And now it's all on the Pickles and Vanity in a two on two. And Sufi end up in heaven with the op in a position that isn't all too common. And you can see both teams right now taking this extremely slowly. Vanity expecting someone to come in from behind. Maybe expecting that someone may have, uh, may have gotten aggressive on B or maybe through Ivy. So they're hanging back for the moment. Still 40 seconds remaining for Vex to make a decision about where they want to go. The main problem is though that Kag is actually getting aggressive over towards B. He's going to get a, lo uh, a lot of info to work with. And that should allow him to rotate over now to assist his teammate. You can see Naisuvian in heaven as well. It's not the greatest position to get things done from when uh, the players have already pushed out towards the bomb site itself. And that's exactly what has happened. The bomb, it is going to be planted. And now it's coming into a two-on-two. -two, and I believe the steps of Kag will be heard. Going to have to try and drop down Pop Dog to get this one done. Sadly, not going to work out. He does actually manage to get himself onto the ground pretty easily. Sadly, Pickles coming back in finds the headshot. And of Nysuvian in heaven is the last man standing. Spots out the first player. Takes the shot. Sadly, doesn't connect it. And now it is position known. Things get even more complicated. Two players to find. One at Evox and one at Pop Dog. And they just go ahead and peek it together and find that kill quite easily. So Vexed finally going to be able to get themselves a 14th round. As I said, though, Blaze, they were pretty successful in taking those previous ones, uh, previous ones as cleanly as they possibly could. Surviving with 4, 4, and 5. So, yeah, they built up a pretty decent economy. They can reinvest into this one. But if they lose this, then coming into the next round, which is potentially the final of the map, of course, that point would vex to be on map point. They wouldn't be working with a great buy into that one. So, Blaze, if they don't take this, maybe the map over and done with a very crucial round indeed. Blaze, they seem very determined on rocking this triple op setup. Not something you see very often. Usually a double op setup is the, the max. But I guess it has been working out okay so far on their CT side. And they're happy enough of swapping it around on a... Swapping it around between the players, you can see, as I said before, Sender, the only one that hasn't picked up an up. It seems like a JL, he's going to pick one up as often as he can on the CT side. And then uh, the other two ops kind of handed between Mosey, Nysuvian, and also Kag. Just getting swapped around. I was going to say, there's a player who's creeping up IV. That could be a pretty big problem, considering the op is posted up at the moment. It is, I believe, Ozzy. He's on his own also. He does have quicks behind them, but he's just going to be left now to try and lurk in towards his position. Vex with 40 seconds remaining. They actually do need to get it... Uh, Get a move on quite soon, make a decision about where they want to try and bring this one. Didn't realise the time that it actually ran down that fast. Now, here we go. They make a decision. Still going to be thrown out towards A. The bomb in A main at the moment in the hands of Quicks. 
And it is indeed going to be an AXQ problem is once again a player up close and pop dog, but actually the is going to be the one to win that out. And as we see Nysuvian getting distracted in towards the back lines, he'll be taken down by Ozzy, who even finds himself a second. Looking pretty decent right now for Vex. Ozzy beginning to burn alive, pushes straight through the flames. Somehow managed to pull himself off another kill as he takes down JL. So now it's all on the Kag, a one versus three to try and deny map points for Vex. That's not looking too likely. Coming in from Connector, the Molotov going down, blocks him off. And as I said, coming into this next round, the economy for Blaze is going to be pretty weak. So he may want to go ahead and actually just save this up. That would give him the, uh, the ability to drop over a rifle to a teammate. But for the moment, it looks like he does want to try and go for this one. Has been spotted. Takes quite a lot of damage. And he should definitely be falling off now. I'm not sure why he's still hanging around. He off one kill, but at that point, it was very unlikely that he'd be able to win out the round. So many different positions on the A-bomb site for the T's to be playing in that after plant. Again, just a very fast round coming up from the D side. And yeah, this is looking to be the end of the game. Three players alive for Blaze to try and save this one. All the kills coming in uh, coming in as they just push straight out your way main and completely open up the A-bomb site. So it is all left onto Nysuvian and Kag right now. Two versus five. And this is likely the end of the road for them in this qualifier. Who is Vex got next? Uh, I'm not 100% sure. I'll check as soon as this game ends when I can look at the bracket, which should be in just a couple of seconds. Nysuvian, of course, all that remains. Nice shot to take down Truth, but I don't expect too much more to be found. I was going to say perhaps that kill on the Vanity may come in, but it doesn't in the end. So there you have a 16 to 10 for Vex that looked a little bit awkward. Especially when Blaze started to build up a few rounds. You could see kind of streaky patches is what came in from them. Picking up that pistol is kind of what made it a little bit closer. And they actually picked up the second pistol as well before losing the force by. So yeah, maybe not as close as it seemed. 